Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. Have another shave of the day, and today we're going to be using Crown of Cranes, well, Tobacco Leaf and Amber. It smells like, uh, it's definitely got the tobacco and you can smell the amber in the background. Excellent scent. So basically, it's uh, like the Tom Ford, you know, that you got from... Um, Sterling, where you got the all the tobacco, and we'll follow up a little bit of. Uh, I'm going different today. I'm gonna go with Stetson, but the razor of the day. We got London Bridge with the Mercor 34. Not the Mercor. Edwin Jagger. That's the Edwin Jagger. Ah, uh, all all messed up today. Brains like that. Yeah. What can you say? It's just a, how it works. I got an appointment coming up here in about an hour and 15 minutes so a speed shave let's see if we can get through this real quick but yeah gotta go some physical therapy today a little more it seems to be working it uh and when you're living in pain as much as i do uh, where are you going i got the jeffrey smith um, uh, Simden's going on here. Got it nice and drippy today. Maybe a little too much hydration. Ah, who knows. But, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we've been... No, at least I've been going to physical therapy. My, to get through all the pain. It's like after 10 days of the fair, you know, it's like I, I could barely move. It's like you do your, your movements and everything to keep yourself limber, but it still doesn't enough. And they, uh, they always seem to come up with new ways to torture you. That's how they were things to work out. If you ever done physical therapy, I've done it a lot over the years. When I uh, messed up my back, I guess it's been 13 years. Well, holy crap, time flies. But, Yeah, I had to go through a lot of therapy and injections into the spine, epidural style uh, shots where they stick it right into your spinal cord and area, put you out for a while, and it's like, like a <laughs> start injecting everything into you. Let me tell you, uh, it's a little, it's a little painful. You wake up, but I remember the first time when they, I could just barely crawl in. They wheeled me in and put me on the the thing, and it's like hit me with the uh, uh, injection right off the bat, and it's like, "Are you okay?" Oh, I actually feel pretty good. <laughs> it's like the pain's kind of gone, <clears throat> and. Ice bug. So, yeah, it was an interesting experience. And then after the first time they got me in there and injected me, and it's like, how do you feel? I'm like, oh, I feel so good. <laughs> like, It's like after living with extreme agony, mind-numbing agony for so long, and then suddenly it uh, it's gone. You're like, you're in euphoria, you know. But it was not a good deal. And it was all a torturous uh, physical therapy to take care of getting me back on my feet. Yeah, it was, uh, 
deals were busting my back. And the uh L4, L5 was shot. Basically, <clears throat> it's like your back is supposed to be butted up, right? Like that. Mine shifted and twisted. Yeah, that was not a good thing to have, let me tell you. And they said, yeah, you're just, if it would have twisted a little bit more, you're would have been maybe paralyzed. Oh. That would have been a bad deal. But the old physical therapy they went through and worked me over and and uh yeah, me too able to move around pretty good and ever since then it's like a daily uh, battle going on to uh, continue moving oh interesting news for those of you that are Lord of the Rings fans if there is any uh, I got uh, tickets to go see the preview of the War of the Ring. The preview of the new Amazon show. So, yeah, Wednesday night, I gotta, I get to go see it, see it all before it hits the waves. Handful of people here in the Metro, the one Metro got selected to go see it. Like, yeah! <laughs> Looking forward to seeing that. I don't know. Uh, it's like, as one of the channels I like to watch is called Nerd of the Ring. And, or Nerd of the Rings, or something like that. And he got to see a preview of it in London. The first two episodes of it back a couple months ago, I think it was in June. And had to sign a non-disclosure agreement and all that. I don't think there will be that. Because it's kind of like a movie premiere type thing. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I've been, uh... Um... Lord of the Rings fan since I've been right, 12, I think it was, when I first, first time I read it. I read the Lord of the Rings first. And then I read The Hobbit, and then The Simulator came out. I think it was out in 77. Somewhere there. I remember when I first read that one, it was like... I think it was 78 when I first read it. Got it paperback. I was reading it and going, oh my god. <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> the first my the first time when I started reading is the, the intro section is all about the building of the uh, the world. And oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot of info in there. But it was pretty deep for a young teenager <laughs> I was like oh my I had to put it down and like what did I get myself into and then I a little later it's like I I read it went through and I just kind of skimmed the first part and got into the stories which are kind of like short stories about the uh, history of Middle Earth and how it became the first age second age It was 
good. I liked it. Very. And so basically, this new show is a lot of the information that are in Unfinished Tale of Lost Tales and the Simulator. So you combine them all together. So this takes place in the second age when the. Uh, so I'm kind of. <laughs> you're, some of you are like, oh, just shut up. <laughs> Geek. But yeah. Well, that's my, one of my things that I enjoy reading. And so the second age when the rings of power were made, forged by Sauron. And in the first age, uh, the uh, Melkor, who is the a, uh, a Dark Lord, he used to be a semi god of the elves. And stole the Similarians, which were these three gems from. Which contained the light of the one tree. It wasn't the sun yet, so. And these trees. These. Uh, <laughs> shed light on all the land. And. Uh, ben or he. Forged these three gems and captured the light of the the one tree, the tree, and then Melkor he just had the Ungoil uh, destroy the trees. And then he escaped across the to the other the Middle Earth, set up his empire. <clears throat> then that, the whole first stage was them fighting, trying to get him. Uh, and uh, like Lady Gadriel, Galadriel, she uh, is from the first stage. She came across the uh, basically the pond. Across the Helcorix, along with the rest of the Noldor elves, to take back the scenarios, the gems. And the end result was all that war and death and destruction. Yeah. Man, it's a nice scent. I like this tobacco leaf. There we go. A little bit of Stetson. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's in cooling. I like this stuff. It's still summertime, so cooling works good for me. There you go. Stats in cooling. All right. That was the shave of the day. And that was brought to you by Crown and Cranes, Tobacco Leaf, and Amber. Smell like tobacco leaf. Kind of like the, uh, oh, what the heck is it? I'm thinking Haverford. There's that's the name of it. Haverford. It smells like Haverford, but with amber in it. Good, nice scent. So there you go. Then we followed up with the Edwin Jagger and London Bridge blades. First use. There you go. Nice little shave. Makes me happy. All right. So that's the shave of the day. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.